And let's start with Justice. The new Justice. Yes! G. Brown Jackson, who has just been sworn into the Supreme Court. So, from our people... Finally, they did something right. Mm Mm-hmm. Exactly. (laughs) From our people's at TMZ. Justice Kentanji Brown Jackson has just been sworn in as U.S. Supreme uh, Court, making her the first female African American justice in U.S. history. Uh, justice Jackson was confirmed to serve on the highest court in April, replacing retiring Justice Stephen Breyer, who was nominated by former President Bill Clinton back in '94. So, Senate Republicans Romney, Collins, and Murkowski joined every Senate Democrat in voting to confirm. During her speech on the South Lawn, she said it took just one generation to go from segregation to the Supreme Court of the United States. So this is a major plus for people of color. So we're going to start it off. Marsha, take it away. I'm just very happy. Now, let's think about this. We have our first woman, black woman, vice president. We have our first black woman, justice. It's like you're taking over. But it's, it's very... It's an honor because I get to show my children, you know, this is where you can be. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm very, happy. I'm very happy for her. I'm happy for us as a people, mm-hmm. and I'm happy that we're being aggressive in our selection. Okay, very cool, Cortez. What are your thoughts? I agree. I agree. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Progress is being made. It is definitely being made. But man, it, why has it taken so long for these major milestones within the United States to be made? That's a question I have. Because, I mean, you go overseas, like to England, for example, I had a female prime minister 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. Yep, Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> you know, things like, why are, we, why are we so far behind in making progress with just race and just um, gender gender um, value? Why are we so far behind with that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, very true there. GPS, your thoughts? Uh, I'm going to piggyback over Cortez. I mean, England's had a queen for damn near 100 years now right mm. yeah. um you know you got female uh leaders all over the world except for here we've only gotten into that the last what 20 years maybe mm-hmm. you get a you get a female governor a female mayor a uh, couple senators couple congresswomen um why is it taking us so long to get on board with this you know come on Give an equal voice to everybody that's here, but we know why you really don't want to do that. But you will. Is it because? Slowly but surely. Is it because she's black? Amongst other things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a few it's things, smart. man. Shoot, she's smart too, man. Like Shirley Chisholm said, man, if they don't want you at the table, then you go ahead and pull your own chair up to the table. That's Damn. what Shirley Chisholm said. 100%. That's why. That still resonate with me. I said that to anybody. I was like, you don't like the way things are. Pull, pull a chair up to the table and do your thing. Because mm-hmm. they can't deny you. You know, they can tell you, oh, you're not supposed to be at the table. But mm-hmm. come on. Yeah, yeah. Every, it's, it's everybody time. deserves it. Everybody deserves an opportunity. So why not? Why not us? That's that's the whole mm-hmm. point all around. And that goes for any aspect in, in career or in life. You know, we're just as significant as anybody else. You know, we all have attributes and um, uh, abilities that everybody else has. And sometimes even we can surpass other people. So give us that opportunity to show you. Show and prove. That's what we say. Show and prove. So once again, we congratulate Justice Kentaji Brown Jackson for her being sworn in as Justice for the U.S. Supreme Court. 